Britain's strictest head teacher, we've had her on this show, Catherine Babel Singh, is in a row and heading to court with a Muslim pupil over a decision to impose a prayer ban. Tell us more. Yeah, this is Catherine Burble Singh. She's obviously the headmistress at Michaela School in yep. London. Incredibly high-performing school, constantly punches above its weight. And a lot of it is because, as she has been dubbed British strictest head teacher, there is a very sort of cast iron set of rules which she imposes. One of them, uh, allegedly, is a so-called Muslim prayer ban which she's now been taken to the High Court over from one of the pupils who said it is discriminatory and it's basically stopping them practising their religion. Um, they have managed to sort of make an online campaign out of this, so a lot of students in protest are now going out into a sort of wet and dirty yard, putting their blazers down, praying on that, uh, getting their uniforms dirty. And so there's a High Court battle which is playing out now. Um, some Tory MPs, according to the Telegraph, are understood about the challenge to the free, uh, about the challenge to the free school, uh, which they support. They got a source close to Suella Braverman here, the former Home Secretary, saying it's deeply concerning the school is being taken to court over this clearly legitimate policy. It's clearly being weaponized against Michaela. Now, obviously, this is a high court case which is going through at the moment. Although we know that Catherine Burble Singh, she said it herself, does have a target on her back after putting these quite often, you know, sometimes unpopular. Uh, policies in there. However, a lot of supporters would say, you know what, she's getting the results. Mm -hmm. Bex? I mean, it makes me really uncomfortable. I mean, the, the child who, who started this campaign says that it's made them question how they, you know, how welcome they are in, in this country to be a Muslim. And I, I can understand why, you know, this is, they have a fundamental right to be able to pray, to pray. And they actually, well, they wanted a compromise to be able to pray, pray twice a day in school time during kind of particularly religious periods um, in, the, in their faith. I think, you know, Catherine Bevel Singh is a culture warrior and just anything she can do to kind of throw red meat to kind of Islamophobia, culture denying, culture, you know, uh, climate change denial trans rights it's all it just plays into a kind of for a very specific sector of society and i think young kids at school being made to feel that they can't practice their faith makes me deeply uncomfortable and these kids are getting a, a real exercise in um the legal system how to yeah. stand up for yourself Absolutely. and what you believe in so a different yes. type of education they've been provided one they i'm yeah. sure they probably didn't want